So once when you have bunched the 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 eight pin uh, wires, and after cutting to the correct length, you need to solder the wires, the individual wires. So this is the encoder at the at the uh, back of the encoder you'll see below three three pins and above you'll see two pins so the the two pins is actually the the switch when you press uh, when you press that will go to the menu so that that the two pins is actually the terminals for the switch the below three pins are for your encoder to uh, uh, you know solder so the first the first pin you need to uh, solder the black wire always at the center that has to that has to be yellow yeah yellow is the ground and the other the extreme right should be brown so when you when you solder black yellow brown and at the top it you have to select you have to uh, solder the red wire the red wire is for the switch and the other has to be the ground so the center the yellow and the the top has to be in 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 uh, continuity because that is the ground and when you solder this when you twist or turn the encoder it has to increase so when you turn it clockwise the frequency has to increase and when you turn it anti-clockwise that has to de decrease the frequency has to decrease so if if it is happening the other way what you have to do is just interchange the black and the brown so that is what happened so for me uh, it got interchanged when I was uh, turning clockwise it was decreasing and when I was uh, turning anti-clockwise it was increasing so I interchanged it so that's how you need to uh, wire the encoder it is very simple